Panzer 8 Mouse Panzer Kampfwagen 8 Mouse was a German World War II super heavy tank, completed in late 1944. It is the heaviest fully enclosed armored fighting vehicle ever built. Five were ordered, but only two hulls and one turret were completed. The turret being attached before the testing grounds were captured by advancing Soviet military forces. These two prototypes underwent trials in late 1944. The complete vehicle was 10.2 meters long, 3.71 meters wide, and 3.63 meters high, weighing 188 metric tons. The mass main armament was a crop design 128mm gun with a coaxial 75mm gun. The 128mm gun was powerful enough to destroy all Allied armored fighting vehicles in service at the time, with some at ranges exceeding 3,500 meters. The principal problem in the design of the mouse was developing an engine and the right terrain which was powerful enough to adequately propel the tank, yet small enough to fit inside it, as it was meant to use the same sort of hybrid drive, using an internal combustion engine to operate an electric generator to power its tracks with electric motors units, much as its Porsche design predecessors, the Tiger P and Elephant had. The derived terrain was electrical, designed to provide a maximum speed of 20 km per hour and a minimum speed of 1.5 km per hour. However, during actual field testing, the maximum speed achieved on hard surfaces was 13 km per hour with full motor field and by weakening the motor field to a minimum, the top speed of 22 km per hour was achieved. The vehicle's weight made it unable to use most bridges, instead it was intended to fall to a depth of 2 meters or submerge up to a depth of 8 meters and use a snorkel to cross rivers. The mouse was intended to punch holes through enemy fortifications in the manner of an immense brick through tank while taking virtually no damage to any components. The armor was substantial. The hull front was 220 mm thick. The size and rear of the hull were up to 190 mm. The turret armor was even thicker. The turret front was up to 240 mm and the size and rear 200 mm. The gun mantlet was 250 mm and combined with the turret armor behind. The protection level at that section was even higher. The first prototype, V1. Turretless prototype was assembled by Alcat in December 1943. Tests started in the same months, with a mock-up turret fitted on the same weight as the real turret. In June 1944, the production turret with armament was used for tests. In March 1944, the second prototype, the V2 was delivered. It differed in many details from the V1 prototype. In mid-1944, the V2 prototype was fitted with a power plant and the first produced mouse turret. This turret was fitted with a 128mm gun, a coaxial 75mm gun. After the war, the commander of Soviet armored and mechanized troops ordered the hull of V1 to be mated with the turret of V2. The Soviets used six FEMO built STKFZ the largest of Germany's half turret vehicle built until May 1945 to pull the 55-ton turret off the destroyed hull. The resulting vehicle was then sent back to the Soviet Union for further testing. It is now at Kubinka Tank Museum. Many thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and like and share this video.